I've seen a recent trend on YouTube where individuals will pay sellers to complete a particular project or task for them. These projects can include like finishing a website or video editing. Now, all of these have really one particular thing in common. It's usually designing or completing some sort of website or something like that. I've decided to hop on this trend, but a little bit differently than just completing a certain project. I am gonna be trying to search for a Fiverr seller who will teach me some particular program that has to do with or related to cybersecurity, or I'm going to be seeing if somebody can consult me on different career advice or anything that has to do really with cybersecurity. This is going to be a really interesting experience considering that we use online training very often. So I'm going to go ahead and start looking for Fiverr sellers to see if anyone would be willing to teach me something that has to do with cybersecurity. Let's get started. My first step was to get onto Fiverr and search up any potential sellers who'd be offering services regarding cybersecurity training and career consulting. I tried searching queries such as pen testing, teach cybersecurity, cybersecurity consulting to see if I could find any gigs which would offer what I was searching for. After finding various sellers who were offering various different gigs, I went ahead and messaged them to see if they had any openings on their schedules so I could book a one-on-one -on -one session with them. Now it was time to wait until I received messages back from these potential sellers. Okay, so it's a few days later and I have some potential sellers and potential leads that I could utilize to learn or get something going with this Fiverr project. I have two people that I really prospectively want to learn from um, and so I'm going to go ahead and book those sellers right now. Uh, and let's go ahead and do this. First we have um, Guar, I think his name is, and uh, he is someone who I've been chatting with for a little while here. He's more of a technical guy, technical seller, so I think I'm going to book his offer with Wireshark. And I'm learning the basics of Wireshark. We went ahead and decided on 45 minutes of training. Never really worked with Wireshark, so might as well get some basics. Um, and we're gonna use this guy as our uh, trainer here. And then also we have this guy here, CM Sersen. He is a, he's a professional within the industry and he's offering a 20 minute consultation uh, period where you can ask him questions uh, regarding cybersecurity, how to get started, things like that. So I'm gonna book him right now. Um, I've already booked Guar. He's gonna send me the link soon. So let's go ahead and book this guy. I briefly filled out Chris's Fiverr gig and supplied basic details regarding my expectations of the order. All right, I've filled out the content regarding this consultation period. So the questions that I often get on YouTube or email um, really outline some of these right here, these overall basic ones. So what are the first steps to starting? What should I be learning? What are the important skills I should be acquiring in the beginning stages, certifications and college degrees? What is his take on certifications and college degrees? That's a very interesting one. What's the best way to distinguish yourself among the industry? And of course, what learning platforms should you be utilizing to start this career? So this is what I'm going to submit here. I'm gonna go ahead and click start order and hopefully we get a message back with him uh, pretty soon here. A few days later, I received messages from both sellers who I booked gigs with. Now it was time to start my first gig. My first consultation meeting that I booked on Fiverr is gonna be a little bit more technical. This individual is gonna teach me how to use a program called Wireshark. They're not very familiar with cybersecurity or what Wireshark is. Basically, it's a packet analyzer. It's an open source software and free to utilize so you can download it on any of your systems and start using it today. Now, the reason why I chose Wireshark is because I really haven't dabbled much within this program. It's very popular among the security industry. So let's go ahead and see how this consultation meeting goes. I'll be recording it and just seeing how, um, you know, I'm curious to see how this works out. So let's go ahead and move on to this consultation meeting. When it was time to start the consultation meeting, we had some troubles establishing a video conference call connection. We had tried different methods, even sending my team viewer credentials, my account credentials to him over clear texts. Bruh. <clears throat> Don't do that. Once we had a connection, my Kali Linux box was acting up. So we resorted down to the bare basics, webinar style. Yep, I can see everything. Yep, I can see what you're doing. Wait, 
Guar walked me through the basics of Wireshark, starting from the very start. We went through how to read different types of traffic such as HTTP or ICMP requests. Everything seemed to be going pretty smooth and, and pretty easy to understand within Wireshark. We walked through a real life scenario where we wanted to portray a wannabe pen tester script kitty who wanted to use Wireshark within their penetration test, which often doesn't happen, well maybe kind of, I don't know. We use an exercise on FishCap to uh, shape our guidelines, and after walking through this fake scenario or practice exercise line by line, we finished. And I concluded, Wireshark was pretty easy to use. I just finished this session with the individual who um, was teaching me Wireshark. I would say overall it was a pretty good thing. I'll leave a description in the link below if anyone wants some particular training one on one. Why didn't I check this microphone? Now it was time for my second Fiverr gig, which was scheduled to be a 20 minute consultation period where I could ask anything related to cybersecurity or its career. Just a bit of background of the seller. His name is Chris and he has six plus years experience in the industry. Okay, next morning and today I have a consultation period, a 20 minute consultation period where I'm gonna ask some particular questions about how to get started in cybersecurity. These are questions that I often get from my audience, so why not relay these to a person who's been in the industry and see what he has to say that may be different or maybe similar. So let's go ahead and get to the interview here and go ahead and get on this call. So, so like focusing on, on the fundamentals piece before even getting into uh, security is, is could be of importance. I asked Chris several different types of questions pertaining to the security industry. We started off talking about general IT. He recommended I started with understanding the bare basics and having a solid networking core. You want to have a basic understanding of IT so if you can pull apart your home computer and put it back together and it still works. I prefer someone who came from the network operations side of the house and did like network engineering and whatnot. We then moved on into the topic of security certifications, where Chris recommended I started out with the A+. Since I already had my security plus, I asked him if it were possible just to start out with security plus and, and move on from the A plus and network plus. Now, let's say you go, you skip the A plus, you skip the network plus, and you just do the security plus. Would you recommend that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can totally do that. Um, After certifications, Chris mentions the type of skills I should be working on. He mentioned the use of Linux and programming languages such as Python and C plus plus. But I was also curious to know if I should be working on any other skills, and really I was trying to hint at this question of soft skills I could be using within the industry, trying to develop. He didn't address these type of skills, but credit to him, I didn't really talk about, we weren't talking about soft skills, we are talking about technical skills. Also, on top of knowing Windows administration, Linux. You can say, hey, look, I know how to code a database. Um, I know how to just write stuff in Java. Now it was time to ask a question I've been wondering and really questioning to myself for the longest time. Is a college degree worth it? Here's what he had to say. Do you see any value in, in getting a college degree? Yes. Um, so the college degree is basically what circumvents a lot of your experience. And when it came time for side projects, Chris mentions the use of writing white papers alongside with your professors. And here's where he mentions the use of soft skills. You can get them to work with you to write a white paper where, you know, you take like a super complex problem mm -hmm. and then put it into like something that's kind of similar. Then finally, I asked him about the type of resources I should be using, and here's what he had to say. Codeacademy.com. There's a guy on YouTube, his name's Professor Messer. There's podcasts out there as well. Um, one of the ones I listen to is Security Now. Yeah, and then 2600. I thank Chris for his time, and we parted ways, and I really was impressed with the information that he gave me, and very similar along the lines of what other industry professionals have said. Well, awesome. You know, I appreciate the time, Chris. Um, you know, there's a lot of good insights here that I took away. And 
That session was interesting. Uh, so there was a lot of good things that I took away from that. Overall, pretty good. I mean, that, that was a very interesting uh, conversation. And finally, to wrap up these Fiverr gigs, I had to end order and provide reviews. For Guar, I gave him five stars for communication, four stars for services described, and five stars to buy again. And for Chris, I gave him five stars on everything as I was impressed with his overall presentation of the content and his career advice. Well, the Fiverr experiment is finished. Overall, I thought he was pretty successful. I found that I had a good amount of information in both. If I were to recommend somebody doing this, um, the only thing I would really advise you do is just take notes. That is, was a very interesting experiment. I did hop on the YouTube trend with I paid someone on Fiverr to do blank. That is it for today's video. If you have found this helpful or it's somewhat entertaining, please consider subscribing. I will leave both of the Fiverr gigs down below in the description if you are wanting to find particular training or advice within the cybersecurity industry. That is it. Have a good day and make sure to not send your credentials over clear text, even if they're team viewer credentials, told from a cybersecurity student. That's pretty shameful. That's it. Have a good day.